This is my Airhead Roadster cycle car project and uh, something I started some time ago. This is uh, about as far as I got with it before I put it in storage until I can build a shop to build the body. Um, the foundation is a 1933 Austin of England riveted handmade chassis and um, it features a R90 BMW airhead motor with a five-speed gearbox coupled to a midget sprite rear end and the concept is really uh, a small light nimble fun sensory <laughs> overload legal go-kart road going type car sort of uh, scaled down for the island I live on which uh, has uh, windy roads and narrow roads and uh, only a few places really where we go 50 miles per hour so something small light low to the ground stops well seated the pants uh, kind of an experience is, um, is what I'm going for with this. And um, here you can see I am using a middle gearbox from an ATV um, in order to drop the drive shaft down into the frame to have it below the floor. Not sure if I'm going to stick with that or not. Um, and uh, you can see the motor is set back and low. I have a cradle system that motor mount system that acts just like the two main tubes of a motorcycle frame that the motor can clamp to so it's able to slide forward and back along those tubes for placement to balance out the weight. And um, I've gone back and forth between building a car that's really low, kind of like a, you know, a, an old indie, you know, roadster race car and then leaving, you know, the, the car a little bit higher, kind of like a, you know, a Bugatti, something like that. Here are the calculations on the speeds and the gearing and what I should be able to achieve with the diameter wheels and tires. Um, here I've started kind of mocking up body lines and bringing in different components I want to integrate to cool the motor and expel uh, any exhaust um, and heat buildup in the engine compartment. It's going to be a single seater with a uh, removable uh, seat in the tail section, kind of like uh, inline seating in, say, like an airplane. And um, also the rear seat, you know, will be used as a trunk to get groceries and whatnot. Um, the rear passenger will sit slightly over the driver, kind of like on a motorcycle. And just here making decisions about body lines and proportions and, um, you know, what I want the car to look and feel like from a driver's perspective. Here I am adapting the original steering box. These are the original friction dampeners that came on the car. Um, here's more of a hoop style grill with some basic body lines. I'm using some leftover wooden blind slats um, just to kind of, you know, give it the old one-eye squint. And rolling it outside to, uh, to look at the proportions and lines. The chassis has some interesting uh, bends and shapes to it, so playing with those is, is kind of fun, playing off of those. Here's some motorcycle fenders I pulled out of the dump just to use to mock things up my old shop here and here I am just checking the ergonomics this is when the car was really low I had uh, uh, over mounted the front drop axle and uh, used uh, blocks in the rear to get it down low to more of a race car style but I think I'm gonna go higher like I mentioned raise it all back up still lots of decisions to make but before I can make those final decisions, I need to get a new shop built. Get my metal fabrication tools set back up so I can uh, start hand forming a body that 
that does this chassis and project some justice. Anyways, thanks for watching.